What is going on guys and welcome back to another video and ahead of Brownlow Medal Night I am going to go on Sporkle and I'm going to try and name every single Brownlow Medal winner since 1924 And initially I was going to do this video with Mitch Ryan, in fact we filmed this twice But we had major technical difficulties, footage and audio just screwed up so I've decided to screw it I'm just going to do it on my own I'm going to have to try and do it myself, which I'm sure will be uh, tougher, but um, yeah, we'll try and get above what I got last time, which I think was 64, um, but yeah, let's just get straight into it. So 15 minutes we got, 105 we have to guess, no 2019, so it would have given me an extra point if I would have gotten 2019, which was 5, but we'll start off with Mitchell, we'll work back to front, I think that's definitely the best strategy. So Martin, 2017, Dangerfield. Um, 2015 was five. He won it a couple times. Prittis surprisingly won it in 2014. Um, 2013, we got Ablett for the Suns. Probably the only Gold Coast player to ever win a Brownlow. Well, yeah, and probably only Gold Coast player to win a Brownlow in a while. 2012 is Cochin. 2011, Swan. 2010, Judd. He won it twice for two clubs. Cooney. Um, 2007, we've got Bartel. 2006, we got Goods, who won it twice. 2005, we've got Cousins, the drug, the drug addict. Um, 2003, we got Buckley. This was a three-way tie between Buckley, Rusciuto, and Goods, which I don't know um, if we'll ever see another three-way tie. Hopefully, we do get a tie again. We haven't had one since 2003. Um, or 2012, actually. 2002, we've got Akamanis, or one of the two, and then we got Black. So we got a few Brisbane uh, plays back then. We got Melbourne as Shane Woden, Woden, um, who I don't know if he deserved to win the Brownlow. A lot of people are saying he's the worst ever player to win a Brownlow, but I don't know too much of Woden. I just know he won it. Um, then 1999, we've got Crawford. 1998, we've got Huff. So Harvey won it twice in a row. Um, we got Hurd in 1996. I know that thanks to the backyard Charger when I was on the hot seat. Uh, Voss as well. Sydney, we've got, um, is, was it Williams? No, Williams is not for Carlton. Oh, okay, he won it twice for Carlton and Sydney. I think it must have been Paul Kelly then. Yeah, and 93 would be, um, well, no, I remember it was Wanganeen. Um, I think it was Wanganeen. Um, yeah, 92. Um, Liberatore. Yep, Tony, 90, oh, 1990, so not 1992, we'll, we'll leave that, I don't want to spend too much time on one player, we've still got a lot more to go, 1991 was Steins, 1989 was, ah, oh, fuck, for Geelong, I don't remember two more, was it, Paul Couch, I don't know, we'll give it a crack, yep, it was, 1988, I think that was Jared Healy, you always see it on the couch when he's ever, whenever he's on the couch. It's a 1988 Brownlow medalist. So yeah, Platten. Um, so yeah, Platten and um, Lockett both shared it in 1987. Only full four to ever win the Brownlow. So I mean, will we see another one anytime soon? Shannon reckons Hawkins will win it this year. I highly doubt it. 1986, you got Dipper Domenico. Oh, oh no, we're not going to know how to spell that. Dipper Domenico. Dipper die. Domenico, Dip, is there an iron there? Oh, we got it, second check. There we go, I didn't expect, I thought we'd have to go to Google to resort to that, but no, we got it. 1985, Footscray. Um, I'll go, I think Blight won it. Um, I think, oh, see, this is where it gets tough. This is where I'm almost about to start guessing. Skilton won it three times. Um, who won it for the Saints? Uh, he won it for the Saints and the Tiger. I think he won it three times. Who was it? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll go to some old... What about Templeton? He won it in 1980 for Footscray. Reynolds, Dickie, Dick Reynolds. He won it three times. Wrestling, I didn't know... What about that Dick Lee guy? Collingwood, Coventry. He kicked like three... Like 1,300 goals. You think one... Sid Coventry won it. Not, uh, not the other Coventry, Gordon. Um, St. Kilroy, this is, this is a bit tough, um, Skilton, oh, the first person to win it, wasn't he Greaves or some? yeah, Greaves, 1958, um, Footscray, 1960, 
Is it EJ Witten? Nah, I don't Yeah, probably. Well, you th you'd expect him to have won one, but yeah, fair enough. What about Jack Dyer? No, not Jack Dyer. Oh, who's that guy who won like three? I think it was Hayden Bunton. Yep. He won three back then for Fitzroy. Um, Alright, this is a bit tough. This is a bit tough. Who's that guy? What's his name? What's his name? Um, he was a ruckman for Fitzroy. What was his name? I can't remember. I can't remember what his name was. Um, I'll leave it. We'll leave it. Oh, no. Burnley Quinlan. There we go, for, for, for Fitzroy. So, he won it once. 1981 for South Melbourne, North Melbourne, Melbourne. I mean, these this is some tough some tough territory. Barassi, he was always good. We'll go to some famous coaches. Jeans, um, Kennedy. All right, what we're going to do, 922, we might start going common names. We did this with Mitch last time, so we're just going to go for some common last names to try and get a few cheap ones to Smith. We got four for Smith. Um, what about Brown, Edwards? Um, what other common names? Roberts, Neil Roberts. There we go. Um, see, this is actually a strategy that actually isn't so bad. That actually works. Andrews, Dan Andrews. No. What other common names are there? Williams. Oh, we did Greg Williams. So wouldn't Thompson. Len Thompson in 1972. I think I have heard of him, though. I think I have heard of him. Um, oh, I think Darcy Moore's dad won a couple. Yeah, Peter Moore. He won two. So already, we are on track for maybe getting a good score. 60 out of 105, though. Who else have we got? Um, what about Jackson? That's a common last name. Jackson. Um, Ryan. Mitchie Ryan. Let's see. There we go, Dennis Ryan. Good old Dennis Ryan. Got shares the same last name as uh, Mitchie Ryan. What about McDonald? Nah, no McDonald. Um, Adams. We're just yeah, picking random um, last. What about Lee Matthews? Didn't he win one? Herbie Matthews. Herpes. Herpes Matthews. He won it in 1940. Um, all right. What do we got for 1992 for Footscray? Oh, Scott Wind. Yep. All right, 63. These are the tough ones. I, I'm I'm pretty sure though that the one that I should get here is a St Kilda player. Trevor, did Trevor Barker win one? No. What about Barry Breen? Nah. All right, this is tough. Oh, who's a good player for um, Essendon? Wasn't it? Um, did Coleman win one? No. Um, who was a good player back in the day? Who was a good player back in the day? Francis. Francis Burke. He was all right for Richmond back in. God knows how long ago. Still seven minutes to go, and I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm at to the stage when I'm actually guessing. I think we, we can try and get 75. I reckon that's our goal. Stewart. Stewart. Ian Stewart. That was his name. Ian Stewart. He won three. Um, I think he's equal with um Stewart, um Skilton, and Reynolds, and not Reynolds and Bunton for the most Brownlows with three. So we want it for Richmond and the Saints. So there we go. That's three. That's handy. Handy. What else? Um, so we got every player up until... Who's 1985 for Footscray? <sighs> Parkins. No. Uh, what about Mark McClure? McClure. I don't know, I just remember that he could have potentially won one. What about the Flying Doormat, Brucey Dool? Did he win one? Nah. Jezelinko, did he win one? No, I didn't even know if I spelled that right. So who we got? Who we got here? We got South Melbourne, Essendon, North Melbourne. We got a bunch of North Melbournes. Who though? I don't know many North Melbourne players. I said Blight. He's really the only one who falls into the top of my head. Okay, it's, it's very hard. It's very hard. Who are some good players? It, 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 it's not easy, all right? As someone who was born in 2003, this quiz isn't easy. Yes, you start choking after you get to 1990s. At that, that, that stage, it starts getting tough. All right, we've got 2 minutes 53 left, and I am very stuck. Do I want to give up? Do I really want to give up? I, I don't know. It's, I'm just trying to see who else... Last resort, am I able to remember any more or is it just going to be me guessing and going for the common last name, which has been the yeah main story of the last four minutes? Um, 
Because I, I think I've done all right. We're back up to 995. I just want to see who did I get out. Because we've got a few St. Kilda players who potentially I might know of, but... Yeah, from back back then, back then, I'm not going to really have that too much of a clue. Um, but we'll, we'll give up. We'll give up because I can't really remember. Um, 2 minutes 14 on the clock. Who we have that we should have gotten? Colin Watson. I think I might have heard of him, but I uh, can't really blame myself on that. Who else have we got? Yeah, a lot of these. Bill Hutchington, I think I might have heard of him. He won a couple. Um, Brad Hardy, never heard of him. Keith Gregg. Keith Gregg, I think I might have heard of him. So that's someone who I probably maybe could have gotten. But Hardy, Glending, Wilson, Teasdale, Dempsey, Gary Dempsey, I've heard of him. We probably could have got Dempsey. And Kevin Murray, another one that I'm, I think I have heard of. But... Now, overall, though, most of it um, I think I did all right on. 63%. So we got 66 out of 105. So I think I think that's all right. I don't actually think that's not the worst result I could have gotten. Because, if, yeah, as someone as young as I am, I'm not going to know um, a lot of these players. But I'm sure, I'm sure if you're a bit older or you've got more of an AFL knowledge, you, you can definitely um, smash this and almost um, almost contend for 100%. The sport will be down below in the description, so if you want to play it, um, feel free to play it. Brownlow Medal Night is tonight, so I'm hoping that this video can be out before the Brownlow Medal. Um, I filmed the video with Mitch Ryan as well, but unfortunately I did mention that I couldn't get this one out with Mitch as well, but make sure to check that out. It's where we, me and Mitch both rank Brownlow Medalists. Um, leave a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what, um, yeah, if you did this quiz yourself, what you got. And yeah, I'll see you guys soon in my next one.